Hey, welcome back again, guys. This is Sampati watching Sampati Sampax YouTube channel, and this is the Redmi Note 7 Pro, and this is the Proton AOS version 12 based on Android 12. As you can see, you need to dial this out. As you can see, it's Android 12 based ROM with 5th October 2021, not a November security patch, and the Proton AOS version is 12.0.0. And the kernel used is 4.14.190 X Caliber plus kernel with second Wednesday November 3rd build. C Linux status is enforcing. This is how the ROM information. And if you're first time to this channel, hit down the subscribe down below and also follow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon. And if you like the video, give it a like. And let's start with the dialer itself and let's see. There's a volume panel of it and direct video call feature is available. Let's dial and see. You won't get any call recording features. And one more thing I will tell a little bit. And coming to CPU throttling test, as you can see, I have run till 3 minutes 12 seconds. I will start again. It was good. The performance was good as you can see it's really good if you want to use this as a daily driver you can definitely try this ROM. Yes it's an official build still but it's going to be very soon official and the performance is really good and it's like pixel experience and total like performance I am seeing in this ROM as you can see and uh, the biggest thing is in this ROM is the performance in UI definitely. As you can see, it's very smooth in the UI. If you want to, you can scroll in, scroll down, or zoom in, zoom out. Everything is working fine actually in this ROM. Very, very good, stable ROM for Redmi Note Sambro. And this is how the power toggles you can turn it on from here. And even while setup, also, I got this mic axis, camera axis, even location axis. Everything will be displayed here in the right corner with green color, green accent color with particular symbol which I am using. That's working really good and notifications are also very good it directly pops the notifications even after flashing the rom everything will be working fine that's the very good thing i have seen in this rom and coming to like speed test here like i have here like 100 mps plan and it's pulling up to 92 as you can see it's around 90 which is good let me turn on using the mobile internet and see now let's run the speed test as you can see i got ld plus but signal is very low but you will get carrier aggregation in this from that what i want to say sometimes people ask about that and come back coming to like wallpaper and style you will get little bit of wallpaper so as you can see space and strange dimension i will change it out to this one okay those things are working fine and coming to widgets you will get this clock widgets i mean the android 12 widgets it's working fine no problem all the Android 12 features are working fine. The UI is very very smooth as you can see. And that's the one thing I liked in this ROM. And if you're still not liked this video, like it guys. I will get motivation to make similar kind of videos. And in the notification settings, as you can see, app notifications, you can turn it on or off. I mean, you can disable or enable using this method. In the notification history, you can enable here if you want to see a notification without missing them you can make it out history and watch here and conversations also you can check out here bubbles feature is also available many people ask about this also and device app notifications it's here sensitive notifications you can enable here annoying notifications also you can turn it on or disable using this option even heads up and print of options here you can check it out coming to battle life battle life i haven't tested it long time but in a given little time it is going to be good based on that excalibur kernel i can say the battle life is also be good only 
and you will get this kind of option like low battery light blink led when battery is low you will get the led notification light which will blink continuously when the battery is low that's the one thing added this is the how the customization come into picture when you use aosp roms or any pixel experience or i mean other than pixel experience roms or proto roms some of the customization has been adding down so this one customization what i have seen after a long time and in the end total this is the one thing i have seen first and this how the settings and in the display settings let's see what all the new things we'll see dark theme is working fine as you can see no problem you can schedule it out also and font size everything is given night light show refresh rate as you can see this also a new thing added in this room which is really good in my opinion after using plenty of android tool same roms this is little bit different with new features like show refresh rate and the previous thing what i've shown the blink battery led those are really good in my opinion prevent accidental wake up tap to sleep wake up plug these things are given in the accessibility menu okay it's given on the top side the accessibility menu is also a handy feature you can use it out like this if just toggle this you can choose even to lock the screen no need to press any buttons or even the volume or even the brightness slider also you need not to slide down here you just use this accessibility menu and use the toggles you can use even a assistant and some of the options also as you can see quick settings from here you can drag it out that's the cool thing many people don't ever know this also use it guys it's an handy feature you should definitely try it out and switch axis is also given and select to speak is also given those things are working fine in my opinion and coming to security settings you get you still not get any face unlock they might they might added in the in this rom this is the patron rom and as you can see the fingerprint unlock is very quick just tap it unlock just tap it's get unlocked which is really quick in my opinion and these all the settings in privacy settings all the all the and at all privacy settings are added and location settings are also working fine no problem in the rom this is how the settings you get and in the system settings let's see the gestures system navigation gesture navigation now you won't get option to enlarge or even increase the radius of this gesture bar but any plenty of options are still given advanced restart for example if i use this one and put restart you can directly go into the recovery or bootloader system or anything like that this how guys you can even use the screenshot from here you can select the text and copy wherever you want all the android 12 features are also given and some of the customization like blinking by notification light and some display features what are they what are they given was really handy and coming to safety net status let's get past really good it's an unofficial build but still it's get past which is really good in my opinion and coming to geekbench scores the single score is 500 and 502 and the multi score is 1432 and it is detected as android 12 and xiaomi redmi note 7 pro with this linux 4.14.190 excalibur plus kernel used here so battery life is going to be good and the performance in ui especially is going to be good and coming to drm info let's see you will get l1 certification out of this rom no need to worry while watching the hd content in ott applications no problem there also and maps also working fine and payment applications are also working fine you will get a google go camera pre-installed in this rom as you can see all the options are also working fine you can even use for video also it's handy camera if you want you can use any gcam ports and uh, let's see the uh, bgmi what settings we get i have not using with jfx tool in this rom currently let's see what all the settings you get in this rom and coming to like game settings as you can see in the graphic settings you get smooth plus ultra and even hd 
HD and I recommended settings as full plus ultra if you want you can use GFX tool to enable the settings and that's all guys in this video this uh, Proton AOSP ROMs custom ROM on this Redmi Note 7 Pro if you like the video give it a like and if you're still not subscribed to my YouTube channel hit that subscribe down below and if you like the video give it a like and see you in the another interesting video until that keep smiling bye bye for now